Greetings from Seville Man. I recently upgraded the CPU in my primary rig with a second-hand Ryzen 9 5900X. This PC used to feature Ryzen 7 5800X, which I then reused in my other Ryzen 5 5600X based machine. Confused already? The question I'd like to answer today is, do these same generation dropping upgrades make sense at all? I ran a few benchmarks to see what performance improvement can be achieved with a few extra cores. I left all settings identical. Well, identical except for 1500X, where I had to increase infinity fabric voltages in UFI BIOS because the CPU would throw warnings in Windows system log. I assume it's just a matter of having less stellar memory controller inside my new 1500X when compared with the old 5800X. It's true, my RAM is heavily overclocked, so John Doe certainly wouldn't face this problem. Let's roll. It's obvious the biggest gains can be expected in productivity applications as they utilize CPU cores more than games. In 7-zip, the extra four physical cores of 5900X versus 5800X bumped up the compression performance by 25% and decompression by 30%. On the other hand, the extra two physical cores of 5800X versus 5600X delivered an improvement of 19% in compression and 22% in decompression. Cinebench R23 is a tile-based rendering benchmark which provides us with a somewhat useless single-core score and a more realistic multi-core score. The single-core performance of 5900X saw an uplift of over 2% versus 5800X, whereas the multi-core performance improved by 24%. Surprisingly, both scores of 5800X grew by the identical margin versus 5600X that is over 2% in single-core and by 24% in multi-core. Truth be told, this 5600X is apparently a cut-down 5950X where the whole first CCD and two cores of the second CCD got fused off by AMD. The original 5950X most likely didn't pass the QC, or its first CCD was simply defect. Limpack scales across more cores well, so there is no surprise in the results this time. 5900X did 23% better than 5800X, and 5800X did 19% better than 5600X. Y-Cruncher single-core computation ran equally fast both on 5900X and 5800X. The multi-core benchmark crunched a Pi 13% faster on 5900X. Single-core crunching on 5800X ran 1% faster versus 5600X, and multi-core workload completed 16% quicker. I'm not a big fan of the built-in benchmark of CPU-Z, as the runtime variance is a bit high here, but let's see how the CPUs fared anyway. 5900X saw the single-core score increase by 5% versus 5800X, and the multi-core score increased by 30%. With 5800X versus 5600X, the situation was as follows. Single-core score was identical, but the multi-core score increased by 21%. OCCT is not completely reliable in terms of benchmarks either. I find the average benchmark values which it offers all over the place, but I will not include them in my chart, so whatever. When comparing 5900X with 5800X, both SSE and AVX single-core scores improved by 2%, SSE multi-core improved by 23%, and AVX by 19%. When confronting 5800X with 5600X, both single-core scores were identical, but SSC multi-core grew by 22% and AVX by 20%. And finally, Puget DaVinci Resolve Benchmark's 4K media score was 20% higher for 1500X when compared to 5800X, and 18% higher for 5800X versus 5600X. Since games are usually GPU-bound, we'll only be able to spot minor improvements in lower resolutions such as 1080p, and with lowest quality settings. I say minor, because single core boost usually affects FPS more significantly than having plenty of cores available. Cyberpunk 2077 saw a 4% improvement in average FPS when comparing 1500X with 5800X. The average FPS decreased by 2% on 5800X when compared with 5600X. Yes, a slight decrease can sometimes be observed especially when the lower tier CPU is of higher silicon quality, 
which means it can sustain higher clocks for longer. Average FPS in Horizon Zero Dawn was identical both for 5900X and 5800X. But 5800X was 5% faster than 5600X. And last, in Watch Dogs Legion, 5900X fared 3% better than 5800X in average FPS, and 5800X scored 6% higher than 5600X. What to add? If you only care about games and you own at least the last-gen 6-core CPU, don't bother with the upgrade. But if productivity is more important to you, a drop-in upgrade might make sense provided you can get the CPU with a fair discount like I did when I bought a used one. If you, however, make money by running multi-core workloads, 5950X would be your best pick, but due to its lower single-core boost clock, it usually does a tad worse in games than the parts I tested today. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.